The 2016 Army football spring game is in the books. Rich DeMarco with you from Mikey Stadium as the Black defeats the gold by the final score of 56-38. Joined by Black Knights defensive back Gibby Gibson, who had a fumble return for a touchdown in this game. Gibby, how good did it feel to be out on the field? What did you get out of today's game? Oh, we just worked hard for this moment. We just wanted to put everything we learned in the spring and just how we've gotten better through. So it was just fun being out there with all those guys. You mentioned getting better through the spring. What were some elements you, your unit, were able to work on that you were able to have on display today? Uh, we were able to work on block protection, reading your keys, um, just playing hard, fast, and executing footwork. You just feel the excitement, the fans here at the spring game. A lot of former players are back. How much does that impact you guys when you're out on the field? You see the 10 honorary captains, former coach here. How much of an impact does that have on you when you're out here for a game like this? I think it's a big impact because, you know, when you see people coming back who are in your footsteps for you, they understand you can relate to them and they can help you out in the future. That was Gibby Gibson, now joined by fullback Darnell Wolfolk. His black team came away on the victorious side of today's game and a nice touchdown run for you. Beautiful weather today, great atmosphere. How was this experience for you? Uh, honestly, I loved it. Last year I was in the stands watching it and it was a great time being a part of it. Coach Monk and the guys, it's, it's all awesome. There have been some injuries at the fullback position, opportunity to step up. How do you feel you did stepping in and having an opportunity to play and performing? Uh, honestly, it felt good. Um, the O-line, even though there's a lot of injuries there too, uh, they stepped up too. Uh, it made my job a lot easier. We talk about improvement. How much did this offense improve, you feel, over the spring? Uh, honestly, I think uh, the coaches have done a great job. Uh, preparation. It's obviously going to continue, but uh, I think everything's improving as a whole, not just at our, at our position at fullback, but uh, the whole offense as a whole is definitely going to make an impact this year. A complicated scoring system. Was it tough to keep track out there on the field? Uh, it definitely was. Uh, we just, we just w tried to do our job and make sure uh, we, we came out on top <laughs> over the defense. That was Gibby Gibson and Darnell Wolfolk now joined by the head coach of the Black Knights, and that's Jeff Munkin. Jeff threw this black and gold game. What were your thoughts out there on the field today? I thought our guys competed hard, and that was, that was good, and, and that's what we wanted to see. And uh, I thought it was some really good individual efforts. Just to start the game when Gibby scooped that ball up and ran it in for a touchdown, and we had a pick, and, and uh, turnovers are big. We've got we to gotta maintain possession of the ball. I was disappointed to see the, the offense turn it over, but equally as excited to see the, the defense get their hands on the ball. So a lot of things we got to work on, but uh, it was apparent that there were a lot of guys that made some improvements over the course of the spring, and, and that's a positive. It's not surprising in a spring game when it's offense, defense, to see it one-sided. You had plays on both sides, like you mentioned. How impressed were you not only with the defense, but also some playmakers on offense and some units that have been hit hard by injury? Uh, the, the thing that impressed me the most with the guys on offense was keeping the drives alive and, and uh, making some third downs and fourth downs, especially in the short yardage when uh, our defense knows we're going to run the ball. And, uh, and they're lining up in a defense to stop them. And the guys did a good job of knocking them off the ball and had some running backs running the ball really hard. Uh, I thought the, uh, the defensive guys did a nice job of putting some pressure on the quarterback, though we didn't get to him as often as, uh, as it looked like we were probably going to. I think some of that with the guy in the red jersey, they probably got a little apprehensive about you know, going through a blocker and, and flying over the top of somebody to get to him. But I thought uh, they forced the quarterback to throw the ball on time and get rid of it when he didn't want to. So some good things on both sides. 2016 spring is in the books. What's the next area of focus for you? Well, these guys need to finish up uh, a great semester academically. Uh, they got finals in two weeks. So this is a last week of classes coming up, uh, final exams, and then they go to summer training. So these guys will be uh, both at Camp Buckner right here on campus uh, just outside the gates and, and all over the country, uh, learning to be officers and, and, uh, and doing the, the, the most important work that they have to do here, and that's preparing themselves to lead. So um, it, when they come back, we'll have summer school and an opportunity to work out and lift and, and, uh, and get prepared for the season, and uh, it's right around the corner. Well, Jeff, as always, thanks for a couple of minutes. Best of luck the rest of this offseason. We'll catch up soon. Thanks a lot. That's Army head coach Jeff Munkin after the 2016 Army football spring game. The Black defeats the gold by the final score of 56-38. to 38. For Night Vision, I'm Rich DeMarco.